the same prayers by reciting the mantras of the times. actually a blessing to learn Abhidhamma. Abhidhamma is not the higher teaching of the Buddha. So it is about the ultimate realities that really exist in the universe. And these ultimate realities, they are the ultimate components of our mind and body. So, the, everybody know that we have mind and body, but scientists can study only the body. They cannot study the mind. They don't have any instruments to detect the mind up till now. Up till now, they don't have any instrument to detect the mind. Psychologists, well, psychology, is supposed to study about the mind, but again, they cannot know what the mind really is. So they just can not try to study about the behavior of not the living beings. So actually, the psychologists, they, they, they know that the mind is the most important thing in our life. And we also regard, and the Buddha also said that the mind rules the world. Everything, everybody has to follow the, the leadership of the mind. Actually, the mind controls all your thoughts, all your speeches, and all your actions. So that means it, no, it controls the whole world. It controls the whole world. Now, no, scientists, they produce many wonderful things, no, including spaceships and the, no, the space communication. But actually, all these things are produced by the mind. No, the mind no, the <coughs> guides the, the, uh, the, the scientists no, to perform all these things. So, no, the <coughs> in the case of the Buddha, so he discovered this, you know, the ultimate realities on the day when he was enlightened as the Buddha, as the Buddha. So you know, the, that was in the year, you know, the, we say 588 BC, that is 3,000 years ago. You know, that is the day, the full moon day. So when the Buddha became a, a Buddha, a fully enlightened Buddha, so to become a Buddha, no, he has to fulfill perfections for four asankhyas. So asankhya means incalculable aeon, and incalculable aeon means uncountable worlds, uncountable world systems. Now all the worlds are they are. No, they are arising and dissolving, perishing, arising, perishing. Nothing is permanent in the whole universe. No, so the Buddha, he had the <coughs> practice the eight noble, no, the, 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 the eight jhana attainments very skillfully. 
and he also had the dream that he would become enlightened on that on that day. So he went to the you know, the in the Buddha Gaya, you know that. You know, so he went to the body tree. You know, actually, there's a body tree there, and that body tree, you know, it it arises when the Buddha the the body Sadda was born actually. So when he you know, he spread eight handfuls of grass you know, at the bottom at, at, at the, you know, the near the, the root of the the body tree, you know, a jewel, a very big jewel throne appear. So you no, know, he he sat cross legged on on that throne with the determination. I would not change my, you know, the cross leg posture until I became the Buddha. But, you know, the, 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 the Mara, you know, the Mara, the, the Deva Mara actually existed. You no, know, he, he belonged to the six, you know, the six, the slash or ram, we call Pranimita Vajavati. So he can, he can uh, the organize a very big army and he was always you know, watching the, the, the Bodhisattva. He didn't want anyone to become a Buddha. So, as soon as the Buddha took you know, his place on the, on the throne, so you know, he, he led his army, he came to the Buddha, but they, they cannot approach the Buddha very close to, or closely, you not know, only from the far distance. So he, you know, he used his weapon, so he, he shot the Buddha with ten kinds of weapons. You know? So, and the, the last weapon is very, very powerful, and they call it you know, the, the, mach the machine, machine weapon. But all these weapons did not hurt the Buddha at all. You know, the reason is the Buddha, the Buddha he has you know, the Perform these ten perfections and and the five great sacrifices, you no, know, for for uncountable existences, and all these <coughs> and all these merit, the good merit, you no, know, they are accumulated in his mind. And when you study you know, the <coughs> Abhidhamma, you will know about the mind in detail, you know, among detail. And you will see that the mind, you know, the, and our, you know, the, our mind is like a very, very you know, super computer, you know, actually. So you know, it, can, it is recording all our actions, all our speeches, it's all recording. You know, recording just like CCTV camera. <laughs> so it can take all, all, the, all the pictures, the same thing. So all what we, we, we did are all you know, they are recorded in our mind, actually. <clears throat> and then the Buddha would show that you know, at the time of, of death, from this one existence, to, and you are born in another existence, you know, the stream of the, the mind is not, is not cut off. It is continuous. So all these you know, the merit can be you know, to the transmitted from mind to mind from one existence to another existence. So all of them, you know, the, they existed in the, in this, the, the Bodhisattva. So that, that makes him you not know, the noblest person in the world. So he, he was just you know, the, you know, the recollecting his, his meritorious deeds, and then he, he even you know, the, the, the radiate loving kindness to the, to the Mara and his army. So they cannot do any, you know, any damage actually. And then you know, the Mara. So you know, his all powerful weapon didn't didn't work anymore. So he, you know, he tried to approach the Buddha, and he, you know, he gave the he gave the command. Now Siddhartha, that throne belongs to me. You go away from my throne. So only then you know, the Bodhisattva also spoke. Well. Uh, what, uh, the, you know, what evidence do you have that this throne belongs to you? Then all oh, his, you know, the, 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 the army, army men, they shouted, Oh, we are the witness. <laughs> we are the witness. So then the Buddha said, Now no, I have you know, the perform great meritorious deeds 
in order to attain no, this, the, this throne. Even in my last existence, no, in, the, in, the, in the fulfilling perfection, that is, no, in, the, in, the, in the existence of King Wee Santra, no, Wee Santra, there no, he, no, he, he donated his white elephant to the neighbor country where they are, they are having the drought, there are no, no rain, so he offered the, 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 no, the very valuable no, the white elephant. And at that time, no, when he poured the, the, no, the libation water no, on, the, on the earth, the, no, the earth rotated. No, the earth rotated very no, vehement, vehemently. So when he, donate, uh, he, when he gave, no, the, uh, donated his son and daughter no, to a Brahmin, so also the earth rotated. And then when he donated no, his, his wife, actually to the Sita, no, the king of Devas, who pretended as an old, an old man and come no, to, no, to, 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 to ask for his wife, so he donated again. So no, every time when I did that, this, this great meritorious deed, this art, no, it, it rotated. No, so now the art no, has no, 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 no light, so it it will not no the it can be a good witness to me and to you, no. So so now I will I will ask my the the earth, no, to be my witness. He pointed no the, uh, his hand to the earth. The earth rotated very no, quickly, and even ten thousand world system they are connected. So all are got no the they are, they are, they are they are by, uh, no, they all are uh, no, they rotated very, very no, loudly, uh, producing very loud, no, the, no, very loud noise, and then no, very light, the, light uh, the, no, the, 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 the flashlights. No? So all the lights are running like that, and the Mara and his army went, no, were frightened and they ran away. So no, the many no, Brahma and Devas, they, they came to the Buddha because now no, he, he won the battle against the, 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 the Mara army. That means no, he won the whole world actually. So they came to pay respect to him, but he didn't pay attention to them. Because for him, this night, I must not become a, a Buddha. So he tried no, he by the, the mindfulness of breathing. No? He tried to develop the foot rupa jhana, and then he inclines his mind no, to know all his past existences. So that means no, to develop the, the supernormal knowledge of former existence, we call them. So no, as his mind is very skillful, very pure, very tender, and very amenable, so as soon as he inclines his mind, so no, the he clean his mind, so this supernormal knowledge arises. He could see all his existence, no, from his no, the immediate past existence to the existence of no, the submeda when he attained the prophecy of the Buddha the Bengra to become a Buddha. So well, when he, he could see all these existences, so as I told you, no, everything is recorded in, the, in his mind. So no, all these, no, they appear, they appear to him. And he also know no, the, the activities and the, the knowledge he learned, the skill that he learned in these, no, the, in the every existence he knew. And then when it had the, he can see no, the ultimate reality that we do now, the ultimate realities, no, so they they are no, they, 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 they are the components of the mind and body. So when you have very high concentration and your mind is very powerful, you can penetratively see no, into your body to see only this no, the ultimate reality arising, perishing very rapidly. So when you see that this this body didn't no, didn't exist anymore, it disappear only no, the. the so all these you know, ultimate realities and the, 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 so they consist of mentalities, what we call the ultimate components of the mind. 
and then ultimate realities that consist of uh, that that perform uh, that the uh, that form the the, the component the ultimate components of the body. So no the the <coughs> the the, uh, no, the arising and perishing no by cause and effects no relation. So all these no the mentality is uh, no so in, in one stream connected no. From from all this uncountable existence, only this you know, the, the the stream of mentality, materialities, and now you know, these um, the mentality, materiality, they arise very very rapidly. So you no, know, it is very difficult actually. You no, know? actually they don't have. You know, we cannot see them. They have no form, you no know, no shape. You know? So just like energy, you know, they they cannot be seen. And that's why they are very, very you know, subtle and tender and cannot be detected by any sign instrument. No sign, no only gross materiality and energy. Only that. So what sign is? No, I'm a scientist. No, a doctor in science. I'm. No, so no, we cannot know. We cannot detect actually. No, but when your mind is most powerful, the most powerful in the world. So when you can develop the high concentration, you can see them. And even today, no, in meditation, so especially now, no, we, we have the power shadow appear, and then he can teach no, the, the meditators to see these ultimate realities. Now how to break down your body into ultimate materiality arising very rapidly, and then no, try, to, try to discern no, the components of, that make up each material, material group. So these ultimate materiality, they cannot arise singly. No, they have to arise in, uh, in, in, in groups, no, supporting each other. So no, the material group no, contains at, at least eight, nine, ten types of ultimate materialities. The mind also, no, they, they are made up of consciousness and mental factors. No, they arise and perish very, very rapidly. And then no, the Buddha, no, wh why he was no, the fulfilling perfection for four asankhyas, 100,000 volt cycles, he met several Buddha, no, several Buddha who appear in, in, in front of him. And in five Buddha's dispensation, no, he, became, no, he became a bhikkhu, bhikkhu is a monk, and then he could learn no, the, the, the three tipitaka, so we call it no, the three collections of the teachings of the Buddha. And also he could undertake meditation, no, including you know, developing all the jhanas and also you know, the vipassana meditation no, to, 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 to define all these ultimate mental materialities. And now as I told you, not all these are you know, recorded in him. And he could remember them. Then, when he could see these ultimate realities, he can easily you know, the, you know, define, define each materiality in each material group, and also each mentality in each mental group that we call the mind. The mind is a mental group you know, by their, their, their characteristic, by their function, and by their manifestation that is the result of this function, and also by their approximate causes for the arising. So, no, they, no, he could define each, each ultimate materiality and uh, each ultimate mentality no, in this way. So, no, when he could see, and, and then in, in the, <coughs> after that he also developed his divine eye. So his divine eye is very, very powerful again. No, he could see no, up to 1,000 no, one, uh, 100,000 no, wall system. And you could see all the living beings in all these uh, the wall systems. And you could see no, uh, the living beings no, living in there in terms of the ultimate mental dimity also. And you could also see no, some people are dying and where they are born. And then he also knew the karma. No? The karma is the property of the mind. No, so that gives rise to the new existence. So after that, he can, no, he can the, 
develop the he he could understand the law of karma, and then he also deduced no, the, the the law of dependent origination, no, that explained very logically and uh, the rationally, no, about how we are everybody, no, have been born again and again. All this can be explained very no very very well with this no the the doctrine of dependent origination. Only then he undertook the vipassana meditation. So we call it no, the, 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 the great super, no, so the, so the, the uh, vipassana meditation, because no, he could observe no, 100,000 wall system and all the living beings there and all the mentality, materiality in them arising, perishing them. So no, by designing all this, no, he, he performed very great inside meditation that is not so in the we, we say the third watch of the night in the first watch of the night now he developed that super normal or former existence in the middle watch of the night he developed the super not the normal, not normal knowledge of the divine eye and then only in the third watch of the night so he undertook that great meditation and then he could develop no, the, the, the ten inside knowledges and the full, no, the part wisdom. So, no, these three, the part wisdom and the fruition wisdom, they can realize Nibbana. And no, the, the Buddha said, this full part wisdom, and then that they are the highest wisdom attainable in life. And then their fruition, we call the you know, full fruition wisdom and Nibbana. No, they are the noblest, no, the noblest dhamma, no, the noblest dhamma in the world, because they can eliminate no, all defilement. No, defilement we will learn very soon. No, like we say, no, the uh, lobha dosa moha. Have you ever heard about that? No, lobha is greed. No, the the dosa is anger, and the moha is ignorance. So they are the causes of all evil actions and all suffering in the world. So no, so this, this uh, the four part wisdom, no, the, the wisdom, they can totally eliminate all these defilements. So when his mind becomes you know, totally free, so we say, you no, know, when you can attain the foot, you no, know, the four part wisdom, and as when you can eliminate all defilements, you become an arahat. No, and arahat, and arahat means a perfect noble person. No, so he is. No, he is among the noblest person, and if you attain that, it is the no, it's regarded as the highest attainment in life, highest attainment in life. Now, in the case of the the the, no, the, the Buddha, as soon as his mind becomes totally pure, then all those accumulated no, the good merit that he has accumulated, you know, he has uh, the acquired you know, in the full Sankhya and 100,000 war cycles, the bare result, the bare result. So he immediately, you know, he, be, he became endowed with, we call, you know, the omniscient wisdom. You know, omniscient wisdom is, we call Sabinyuta Jnana in Pali, so it is the wisdom that can understand everything that should be known. Now, when you learn Abhidhamma, you will, you, know, you will find that, you know, the, that the Buddha really you know, observed this, you know, and this the omniscient wisdom, because you know, he could teach you, he could touch, teach us. You know? So to attain all this, you know, the, 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 the nine supramundane, you know, the noblest, no, noblest Dhamma also, so he can enlighten no, millions of, no, the, not only human beings, no, millions of no, the Devas, no, slash of beings, and also Brahmas. So, okay, you, we go to up page 20, no, page 20. So, and then no, the page 20. <laughs> So, I, I, if I could see, it's better. No, so, so then you know, we, 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 
you can read you can read this introduction later on. No, I already talked to you for the introduction already. So we go to page twenty. No, page twenty. Go to page 20. Okay, okay. Now, <coughs> we give you two kinds of realities. No, they are conventional realities, and the, the, the conventional realities are called concepts. In Pali, we call panyatis. Now, what are the, 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 the concept of conventional reality? So, we give you briefly here. All living beings, no, inanimate things, and the names given to, no, to them are conventional realities. So, living beings and inanimate things seem to really exist according to our sense perception. We can see them and we even, even touch them. So we give names to, the, to them so that we can refer to them in everyday communication. Now we give the names like the man, woman, I, you, he, she, dog, cat, horse, etc. So when we speak no, in, the, we, in conversation, so we use this name, we refer to this name. No, so we know, well, no, uh, everybody knows what we are referring for. But we say when you examine no, analytically with wisdom, all these no, the concepts, they disappear. For example, no, you take uh, the table in front of you and you break it down into the pieces, the table will disappear. And for the house, now, if you take a house and, and, and you, uh, with your wisdom, you take up the roof and the walls, then the house will disappear. And the same thing you know, for living beings, you know, man, woman, dog, etc. So we can also divide you know, a man into the head hair, the body hair, and then you know, the skin, the teeth, and then you know, the, the flesh, you know, and then the, you know, the, 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 the bones, and then the, the, the liver, the heart, etc. If you, the, uh, the Buddha, he divided it into 32 parts. So if you divide into 32 parts, the men do not exist. No? So we say, no? so the, 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 no? and also names no? do, do not really exist because no? the, we have many, many the dialogues and then no? they use and they use their, they give their names of different names. No, for example, for the house, we give you, like in, no, the, in Bali, they call it Geha, etc. So, no, you, you, you can give any name to, to a person. So we say, no, living beings, inanimate things, and their names are conventional realities or concepts. So they seem to exist, but they do not really exist by their own right as irreducible or no, unchangeable realities. So, so when we say, you, know, you do not exist, I do not exist. <laughs> so what do you think? <laughs> so it, uh, <coughs> So what the Buddha wants to tell you, no? so what, everybody, what we see no? according to your eyesight, no? we, we cannot see the, the ultimate reality I do you. So we can see only no? or our body, no? our body, each one's body. And no? the, this body, no? the body we say it is made up of ultimate, ultimate mentalities and ultimate materiality. No, mentality is the components of the mind, and then materiality is the component of the body. So these no, components, they have no form, no shape. So we cannot see them. We cannot see them. 
So in the inside meditation, we go vipassana. No? So we can break down this body, and we can also see our mind. No? We can see with the mind, but not only with, with, the, with the, your naked mind, we cannot see. So you have to develop no, the, the right concentration, no, the mental concentration. So no, we, when we, we are, you study about the mind, you, you will understand no, what are these, the, the jhana mind. So when you can develop the, you know, the, the jhana concentration, your mind become, you know, the becomes the, the, the homogeneously united and the uh, focus on one point for one hour, two hours, three hours, etc. So you know, if you uh, the practice very well, you can, you, know, you can be in the jhana state for seven days at a time. So your mind is always on you know, the focus on the meditation sign, on the meditation sign. So when the mind becomes united like that, it becomes very, very powerful. And especially when you come to that stage, you, know, you can, the, you can you know, the subdue, we call the defilement. You know, the defilement, the loba, dosa, moha, they are always on your mind, they are rising on your mind. You know? So they, 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 they are always you know, the, you know, the influence, influencing you, guiding you, you know, guiding you, they are already. But when you attain the jhana, they, um, you can suppress them. They do not arise in the mind anymore. So the mind becomes pure, we say. So the Buddha said, when the mind becomes pure, you know, it radiates very bright penetrative light. No? And now, nowadays, you know, so if you can come and meditate in the, you know, the Power Forest Meditation Center, many people you know, can develop the jhana nowadays. You no, know, cannot can develop the jhanas, but not in other meditation centers. You know? So if you, in other meditation centers, they cannot develop. You no, know, as far as I know, they cannot develop the jhana, and they cannot see the ultimate realities. But here in the Power Meditation Center. No, now we have already here, you know, in Kuala Lumpur, in Denkil. No, so, no, so please come and meditate. No, so it is, uh, it is actually very, very pleasant, no, pleasant job as well to do it. No, it's, uh, it's very, very nice actually. So you enjoy the highest worldly bliss when you attain the jhana. No, much, much better than sensual pleasure. No, sensual, sensual pleasure is elusive, we say. <laughs> It is not real happiness, <laughs> not real happiness. <laughs> so, no, so when we can see this ultimate mental reality, this body disappear. And then those mental reality, they arise, perish, very rapidly. No, the Buddha said the minds can arise and perish no, at the rate of one, no, 1,000 million, even in one step, no, in one, step of the, one snap of the hand. So just imagine, so quick, no, they are rising, very, bad in that. So all the mentality, mental theory that, no, that make up your body and mind. So they arise and perish, no, see, we say, no, 100 million times. All are perish, nothing permanent exists. Nothing permanent exists. No, just like the, the no, the, some, the, the monotheism. Uh, we say monotheism, no, that we live that oh, the, oh, the, no, the, the almighty God created us. So when he created human beings, they also put in the, the, no, the, the, the soul, no, the soul. So not like the Brahmana, no, the, and then no, the Brahmana religion, they, all, they, they said the Mahabrahma, no, Mahabrahma no, the, created all living beings. And then they put in the, they also created Jiva Atta, the Atta, no, which, which will never, which, which will always permanently say. So when you die, so they, they come out from there, they enter another body, and you get another person, they say. No such thing, no such thing. No? So, when the Buddha said, you do not exist, if you can see like that, won't you believe that? But the Buddha said that we do not really exist. So it takes, you know, it takes uh, the intelligence, you no know, intelligence about this. You no, know, when we when we know, oh, when you say, oh, when we disappear, 
Where? Why? We are already, already no, we always exist. Why we, we do we disappear? So now you will find that not because we think that we exist, I exist. So we have personality belief, we call it. No personality belief. So we will come later on. So now this is conscious of conventional realities. No, the, this is the concept we say. Now we go to the, the, the ultimate realities, the next page. No, so the ultimate uh, materiality. So here we give you. No, the, so you see on page 21. So the ultimate realities, no, we call in Pali, Paramatas. Now ultimate realities, in contrast to conventional realities, are things that really exist by reason of their own intrinsic nature. These are the Dhammas, not the Dhamma, I mean the realities, not the Dhamma. The final irreducible components of existence, the ultimate no, entities which result from a correctly performed analysis of all living beings, and in animate things, ultimate realities are the ultimate components of living beings and in animate things. No? In animate things mean non-living things. And they really exist, but they cannot be seen. No? As they don't have any form and shape, you cannot see them. So the ultimate realities, which permit no further analysis, are called paramatas. Padamata means ultimate, no, ultimate reality. So these are ultimate realities no, that really exist. So we, it is very important no, to know these ultimate realities because only when you know these ultimate realities, you know about the mind in detail. No, you know about the mind in detail. And you will even, not the Buddha even uh, explained that no, it is the mind no, that creates all living beings. It is the mind that we create all living beings. And also it is the mind that controls your fate and fortunes. No, your fate and fortune. And no, the Buddha also showed that no, every one of us, no, we, have, we have the right to control no, our fate and wisdom, no, the fortune. No, we, can, we can do that. No, he showed the way how to do that. So, okay, we go to the, no, the, the ultimate realities. Uh, no? So the Buddha said there are four kinds of ultimate realities. One is consciousness in Pali, we call chitta. So no, it is also wise to, to take note of the, uh, the, the Pali name. Because you know, we are going to, you know, to, to study all these ultimate realities. So if we know their names, it's, it's much better. Not like <coughs> I was told most of you are graduates. So you have learned in the university and even in high school. Now when you learn the chemistry, so you have to you know, remember the name of 92 elements, oxygen, hydrogen, nitrogen. <laughs> so, no, so they are compound. Oh, now you can say hydrogen oxide and calcium oxide, all, all these things, no? so compound. So when, when we learn, learn them, they become our vocabulary. The same thing. No? If you can learn them, it's much better. And then we say consciousness is, it is the consciousness of a sense object or the awareness of a sense object. All sentient beings, no, that means all living beings, including very small insects, no, like the ants, they possess con consciousness. Since they are aware of sense objects, namely, no, sense objects are visible objects, sound, odor, taste, and tangible objects. So the people know only five sense objects, <laughs> only five sense objects. So not like the the, 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 the ends. If you leave some cake you know, on the table, so very soon you know, one end will, will come. And then it informs its friends, many ends will come very soon. <laughs> so you know, the, some people think that you know, the animals have no, 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 
no wisdom. No, they said, no wisdom. No, so like in the, in the United States, no, they made they made a research. They saw no the the, the, the end hill, the end hole, no near a hut. They leave no the two no, two bags of no the the sugar, no on the hut. In seven days, this ends. They carry, they carry this uh, this uh, sugar. Day and night, they stop. They don't stop. No, just human human being. We have to <laughs> to stop the rest for the night. <laughs> no, they walk through the whole night, no, the whole day, and then, no, they they they, they carry the, into their hole, and then the scientists then they try to dig the hole, and they found that oh, they were no, they are placed there layer by layer. So that means, no, all all the animals, no, they they have wisdom, but not as 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 good as our our wisdom actually, no. So no, that means all living means no, con uh, the contain consciousness. So consciousness is just the awareness of sense object. No, it's awareness of sense objects, and then we have mental factor. Uh, also, you should note here. So the consciousness in Pali we call cheta, cheta. E is pronounced e, no? Cheta, and cheta pada. So when e is ba, we call it a, pada, no? Cheta pada, and man, 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 mana, mano. O is pronounced o, no? Pronounced uh, mano. Winyana, no? Winya. So n ba there become Nya, Nya, no, Winya Na, and also these are the, the synonyms of the consciousness, and the consciousness and mental factors, no, they, are the, they make up the mind. So we call them Chita Sikas, no, Chita Sikas, the mental factors. So mental factors are concomitants, no, concomitants mean those that arise together. With consciousness, no mental factors they arise together with consciousness. They arise together and perish, no, uh, not only dissolve, no, they perish, disappear, disappear, no, and perish together with consciousness. They depend on consciousness for their arising, assist consciousness in the total act of cognition of each sense object. No, they have the consciousness to be aware of the sense object. And they influence consciousness in several ways. There are 52 kinds of mental factors. What we call mind no, is a combination of consciousness and mental factors. So no, conscious, mental, the consciousness and mental factors, no, they cannot arise singly, remember. No, they are very, very no, very, very subtle, very fine. So they have to arise together. No? So the, the, actually, no, the consciousness combines with seven to 36 no, mental factors to form the mind. So there are 121 possible combinations of consciousness mental factors, and they represent the various mental states. Neither consciousness nor mental factors can arise independently. Consciousness and mental factors are collectively called no, mentality. No, mentality. No, so in Pali we call nama. No, nama. They are called no, mentality. And I give you no, the, for, the, for example six important mental factors. So they are, what, what would you read like this? Law Ha, do, sa, mo, ha, a, lo, pa, a, do, sa, a, mo, ha. They are very important in our life. <laughs> very important. Now all these, you know, the outdoor realities are very important to, uh, the, in our life, actually. So, you no, know, it is not actually, I think, you know, not only you know, Buddhism, you know, the, the described by the Buddha, no, because the Buddha don't no, discover these ultimate realities, he can become a Buddha. He can become a Buddha. Otherwise, no, he cannot become a Buddha. 
No, when we undertake insight meditation with pasana, we have to see all these ultimate realities arising, perishing. No? In, no? So without seeing them, you cannot develop the, the, the path wisdom. You cannot become a noble person. No? They are very, very important. And also, no, you find that no, when you understand them, you can live no, very wisely. You can live very wisely. No, without understanding them, no, you think, oh, they are not, no, not, no, not essential no, for, for living. Do you have to think that? You will be wrong. No, you will be wrong. Okay. So, Lopa, no, we give them the, the, no, the, the meaning, greed, no, greed, so, and also craving, or we can say desire, desire or craving, and craving for sense object. It is only craving for those five sense objects, no, the, the, that we, we do you, the five sense objects, no, the, these five sense objects. So these five sense objects actually include everything in the world, no, in the five sense objects. No? So your money, fame, no, the, all the, the, no, your wealth also are included in, the, in the, these five sense objects. So they crave for this, no, this, the, this good, good or beautiful clothes, no, uh, like they crave for money, crave for fame, crave for, crave for wealth, and crave for good things or no. And actually, this lobha no, influences us most of the time. Most of the time, we are under the influence of the lobha. No, as soon as you arise, you, know, you get up from, no, from sleep, so after washing, you would think, what should I eat? <laughs> should I get no, good noodles? Where I can get good noodles? So these are also... No, the Lopa is asking you to, to get this, to get that, no, so to wear, wear beautiful new clothing, so, so, no, so to work hard to get money, also this, and all, all that. No, and you will see, no, you will see later the, the, how they influence us. And also attachment. No? Now people, no, they fall in love very easily. When he saw, oh, the lady is very beautiful and the man is very handsome, so they fall in love. <laughs> so they fall in love also with, with greed, with greed. No? And also, no, the, we say it is not, it's a noble, noble love. <laughs> it is attachment, the attaching love. As soon as you, you get, you, you fall in love, you become, uh, you attach to that person. No? You attach to, and you attach to your well, you attach to your children. So when you develop attachment, you have to worry all the time. No, for the children, oh, but they be safe to go to school. <laughs> or they don't get, they come back in time, oh, what will happen to them? So you have to worry all the time. No, so because of attachment, we get all these are suffering actually. No? And then we have dosa. Dosa is anger, hatred, or evil. No? <clears throat> and then the, the moha. Moha is ignorance. Ignorance means it blinds our mind. Not to see the true nature of the sense objects. Like we say, oh, this is a person. Oh, it really exists. Since I was born, I, I exist up to now. So I really exist. So it gives that impression, actually. No? And, <clears throat> and then delusion. No, when you don't know the, the, true, the, the true nature, no, you get delusion. No, you're the wrong, the wrong vision, the wrong vision. So, and then, no, the, uh, the, these three. No, the, when in Pali, if you put A there, it becomes the opposite. So when you say alopa, so greedlessness. So you are not greedy. <laughs> so those people who are greedy, no, they would like to get. Uh, how much money do you do you want to get? Do you want to get one billion? When you get one billion, you, the, the loba uh, still push you. Oh, you can walk, you can get more. Try to walk some, get more. <laughs> so how many, many billion you get, you will never be satisfied. No, these, the, the paramatha. So, no, 
the the the, the whole their 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 nature, intrinsic nature, no, till it perishes, it never change. So no, like the lower part. No, however much you get, no. So like the the Buddha said, even the whole world on earth cannot satisfy the the greed the greed of one person. No, and then the Mahatma Gandhi, you know Mahatma Gandhi. No, he is an independent leader of India, actually. No, he is a leader of the, the Hindus also. No, the Hindus, they also make the Buddha as one of their god. <laughs> one of their god. No? So, no, he, uh, the, uh, what he said is quite, uh, very beautiful. He said, no, our art has enough no, for all the people. No, it's enough you know, for all, but not enough for the greed of one man, he said. <laughs> no. So the heart has enough for, for all person, but not enough for one, the greed of one person, he said. No. So no, this is uh, the, <coughs> the, the greed. And then when we say, ah, Lopa, you are, greed, you, are, you, are, you are not greedy. You are not greedy. No, if you want to see other people's you know, the, you know, property or something like that, so you you have no desire to, to get it, to steal it, you know, to do you know, like that, and then you are not attached to your wealth, then you can you, know, you can give away in donation. So we call you know, it also generosity. We say, you no, know? and then you, know, you are not attached to your money, you know, to your to your wealth, and then generosity we call them, and then you also become selfless, selfless, you no. Know? So, not only for yourself, you can, no, you can give away for the welfare of all the people. Is, isn't it a very beautiful quality? No, very beautiful, no, very beautiful quality here to, to get this. And dosa, no, the Buddha said, it is no, the, the most destructive element in the world. No, the, no, like, the <coughs> like Hitler, no, Hitler. So at first, no, the, 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 the leader of the German, German no, the leader. No, at first, he, he was a very poor man, actually. And he hated the, the Jews. No, the Jews, they, 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 they lend money, no, they, and then they try to, no, to collect the, the, the interest. So as he was very poor, he, he hated them. So when we become the chancellor of Germany, and German become very strong, no, and then even you know, start fighting and uh, the, you know, try to <coughs> do, uh, do uh, next, you know, the, like the Poland or uh, the thing. So he gave just one order, kill all the Jews. So you know, they try to, call, or the, do, 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 you know, to, to catch the Jews and then kill six million, six million Jews. You Not know, just, just for, for the anger of one man. <laughs> The anger of one man, so very, very, you know, very destructive. No, so, so that is uh, the anger. So when when you are no, you are always you know, unhappy, it's also due to this lopa and mo and the dosa, and moha. You no, know, is the leader, the leader of the immoral mental factors, the fifty-two mental factors. You no, know, actually, so, you know, by blinding our mind not to see the real thing. So you no. Know, so we, we think what we see is the true one, the true one. Now what we see, oh, there's a true one, I really exist. So the true one, we, we, we take it. And you, you should be careful. No, we, we have the saying, seeing is believing, <laughs> but also seeing is deceiving. <laughs> deceiving, actually. <laughs> no, it deceives us, it is I, I really exist, and become very selfish. And no, the, the Buddha also said, no, the, because of this selfishness, no, it is just like you are having a ticket to go to hell. No, so when you die, no, you cannot, not, cannot escape no, from being born in the hell. No, so very important no, so to develop these good qualities, actually. No, so alopa, gridlessness, adosa, no, so we say, so hatelessness, goodwill, Tolerance, so no, you can tolerate. Tolerance is very beautiful, no. So 
if the mosquito bites you, you get angry and then <laughs> Tosa asks you to kill it. <laughs> no, no, when, when you develop the, you know, the tolerance there, so we, you can make wise reflection. Oh, this mosquito must be very hungry. <laughs> it comes to, uh, to, to take only a small drop of blood from me. Well, if I can donate it, it is, no, I get drink them married, then donate one million <laughs> to the people because, no, donating your blood, no, you get great married, then, no, you can, no, you, 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 you can, you, you can develop the tolerance. Well, he also has his, uh, his family is white, so let him go, so you let, you let it go, it, no. So when we observe five precepts, we do that, no, we do that, no, so. When you get the tolerance, no, you don't get into quarrel. No, you can tolerate. So if a man no, or the comes or, or try to to, to, no, to 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 attack you or something like that, so no, you should you should say that oh, no, he is have a developing no, the anger against me, and he is also developing in moral minds. And then no, when you the, the, the Buddha said this karma is very important. No, the karma <coughs> you learn very well in the in Abhidhamma actually. No, whatever we say, whatever we think, whatever we speak, all are recorded. I told you. No, and this action. No, when the, the after you perform an action like smashing a mosquito, so when you smash a mosquito, no, so anger, so anger, rooted consciousness, arise by many billions. Remember, in one step of the hand, 1,000 billion. So, two step of the hand, 2,000 billion. So, when these, you know, the minds, they perish, they not only dissolve, they perish, arise and perish, arise and perish. And when they perish, they leave behind their, their, the, the, you know, the, we call the, the karma properties in our mind. They leave behind their karma properties. Not just like, you know, the, a tree, in one season it bears many fruits. So when the people eat these fruits, no? so the seeds are left behind. So every seed has a potential to give rise to a new tree and bear many fruits again. <laughs> the same thing. No? These, these are the karma seed, no? yeah, the karma seed, karma property. It's just like the seed. It can produce reaction, the same reaction as you've done. No? So, you may kill no, a chicken, just one. You will be killed. No, you will be killed a million times in return. Because no, why you, no, you, you, why you kill? So thousands, billions of the immoral, immoral no, karma is deposited in your mind, and if each of one has the, 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 the chance to bear the result. So you will be born. No, the, as an animal and kill, no, kill. So we have, we have not the many true stories in, in Buddhism, not like, the, like that. So the kamas are very important, are very important. No? So, so, so when and these are, we go in moral roots, no, these are in moral roots, these three. Now the first three, greed, anger, ignorance, are in moral roots. No, in moral roots mean, they give rise to immoral minds. And then we perform evil actions by these immoral minds and, no, they, uh, and they leave behind no, many immoral karma in our mind. And uh, this immoral karma no, will, will, give, no, will, will give in the return in evil action and suffering. So we say they are the roots of immoral minds and they are also the main causes of all evil actions in the world and all suffering in the world. So they are very important. So remember, no? so because of them, we are not having two war wars and many local wars all over the world now. And then the third war war will come. No? <laughs> so if we cannot control them, so if we can develop this tree, no? ah, love her, no greedlessness. Ah, dosa, no angerlessness, and then also loving kindness. No, loving kindness is, no, so it is not. Uh, it is not the the 
the, the, the love, no, the, the love with craving or attachment, no. So loving kindness means pure, pure love, no. So we say, may all living beings be happy and well. So wishing then is is loving kindness. We call it, no. So we, when you can control your 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 anger, and and you can develop the goodwill, then no, you radiate loving kindness to all living beings, no. So. Now, when we know about the Buddhism, now we no for, for me, so I try to radiate loving kindness to all living beings, so as much as possible. So no, while I was no the resting, while I was walking, so may all living beings be happy and well. May all living beings be happy and well. So just by saying that, no, the sincerely wishing all the people to be happy and well, you develop mil billions of good moral minds. <laughs> Billions of moral minds. So, no, if you know that you can no, you collect the, the good karmas very easily. So, no, these good karma will follow you. No? So the Buddha said, Sabe Sata Kamasaka. All the people, no, they have their no, only their karmas as their real property. As your real property that will follow you from life to life. It's only this good karma and the bad karma. <laughs> they will follow you, no? And then, no, no, the, this karma, they will condition you. No? The good karma will bear good result. The bad karma will bear bad result and bad existence. Good karma, good existence and good result. So, no, they will condition you, your fate and fortune, this karma. So, no, very, very important, actually. So now, now we have the the ah, moha is the wisdom, not the, the opposite of this moha. So no, it blinds us not not to know the real deeds. Now this ah, moha, no, you penetrate, it, see the wisdom, and you can know, you can see, you can understand the ultimate realities, no, with this wisdom, and we also call it knowledge. Now the next three, no, this uh, this uh, the next three, weightlessness. Hatelessness, wisdom, and the moral roots, no, they are called the moral roots, and they are the roots of all moral and beautiful mind. And the, so we go to the 23, no? so they are the main causes of all good actions and all happiness in the world. No? So the, the <coughs> that's about the mentality and consciousness that make up the mind. So you have a little knowledge, a little knowledge about it. Now we have the, the third ultimate, ultimate reality is called materiality, rupa, not in Pali. So now rupa is, is defined like this. It is defined as that which changes form, color, or state owing to adverse or opposite physical conditions such as coolness and hotness. No? So for example, no, the, the wax, no, the, the wax when you heat it, it melts. And when you cool it, it, be, it becomes sol solid again. The same thing with, with iron. No? You can melt it and then it becomes, and like the water, you can cool it, it becomes ice. <laughs> if, you, if you heat it, it becomes, no, it melts into water and then become vapor. So all those things will change, you know, they change the state, the color, because of these, you know, the opposite reactions of the hotness and coldness, etc. So they are called materiality. So you now we say what Buddha, the scientists know is only materiality. Not only materiality. So we say in science we can study only matter and energy. No? So in science, we study only matter and energy. And matter and energy can be converted from one, from one to another. No? So they can be converted from one to another, so they are identical. No? Identical. So now you know that like, no, from the, no, the, the, the radioactive no? the element, they can produce a lot of energy including atomic bomb and hydrogen bomb. So they are performed from the, no, these things. So no, they are only that. So science knows only 
And even when they know that the matter is only gross materiality, no? so if we say they, they know only no, the five the five sense door, no, like we call the eye, the ear, the nose, the tongue, the body, where the five sense objects appear. So they know only the five sense objects and these five, no, the five sense door, only that. But no, here the Buddha described 28 types of no, ultimate materiality. So no, the, the, they comprise four primary elements and 24 types of derived materialities. So you may be aware of the four, the four primary elements. So we call them the element of solidity or in Pali, Patwi. So with, you know, with the characteristic, so you see every you know, ultimate reality, they have their own characteristic. So the, you know, the element of solidity have the characteristic of hardness and softness. And the element of liquidity are ball. They have the characteristic of cohesiveness and fluidity. And the element of heat, tejo. No, they have the characteristics of hotness and coldness. And the element of motion, vayo, no, with the characteristic of pushing and supporting. No? So they are just like energy, without form and without shape. And matter and energy are interconvertible. No? And so they are identical. So no, the, our body is... No, the, is, is made up of you know, mostly by these four primary elements. So if you feel at, at, the, you know, at, the, at the forehead or the head, where the, you, know, the, you, you, you can feel the hardness, and then if you feel in the, in the, <laughs> in the tempo, it's softness, so we say it is patui. No? Like the, the, the abo, no? the, we say cohesiveness, and the, the fluidity. So if you take flour, no, flour, flour. No, so uh, when it is dry, you know, it, 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 uh, they don't stick to each other. But if you just put in uh, water, water is, no, the, we say it is a predominant in our body. No, they have the, because it can flow. And now if you put a little, then as soon as it becomes wet, it becomes sticky. So they, they combine together. So we say it's cohesiveness. So if uh, you put you some more water, it will flow to every direction. So flat it is. So we have the blood flowing. <laughs> and then, you know, the, so the, 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 the light, like we say, you know, the, the ultimate materiality, they combine together because of this cohesiveness. Conscious and mental factor, they stick together by this, you know, the also like this, you know, so. And, and also, you know, the heat, you know the hot, hotness and coldness, so if you, when you put your hand like this, you can feel the hotness here. No? So if you can feel that like you sit in the, no, in, the, in the breeze, so you get the breeze touching your cheek, you get the, the coolness. So that is the, we call the tejo. And then the, now the, the element of motion no, is with the characteristic of pushing and supporting. Pushing and supporting. No? So, I can hold it like this here. So that means supporting, <laughs> supporting. So I can even bend like this. I do four by four. It's supporting. No, you can sit erect, stand erect because of the supporting. And then very, imp very important thing is, no, by pushing we can make the movement because of the movement. And you will see later on, no, no, to 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 don't do to bend our hand like this. We thought, you know, oh, the brain you know, gives uh, the light in science, we, we say. Oh, the brain gets the command. So the muscle you know, walk to, to, to bend it. So not, uh, uh, it is not like that. No. The Buddha said the material cannot, cannot move by itself. It cannot move by itself. No? Just like you know, all the material like that, it cannot move. But, now, when you see, when you want to move like that, when you get in, in inside meditation, you can see the mind produce mind born materialities. And that moves on the hand. Now, the hand here, no materiality here arises and perish here. And then new material arises here and perish, arises here and perish, arises here and perish. By that, then we can, we can move like that. No? So, in inside meditation, we can see them. 
So, no, very, very, very strange, very important. No, without this mind-born material, we cannot move. No, we cannot speak. We cannot. No, we cannot eat. Then we shall die. Actually, and then, no. So, like the Albert Einstein. No, I put uh, here. So he is the. No, he, he is a great scientist, a German Jew. I think again. No, he is. So they discovered the atomic energy, no? the nuclear energy. No? The Einstein. He is a Jew. But, but you know, very, very remarkable. He seemed to know about Buddhism very well, quite well. So he said, you know, he said, science is blind without religion, and religion is lame without science. So science is blind because it doesn't, it doesn't see the mind. <laughs> it's blind. But religion is blind because it is just like, uh, they cannot walk. <laughs> But he said again, he, 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 he added, he said, but Buddhism is neither lame nor blind, he said. No, for, no, we, we, uh, however, for Albert Einstein added the statement. No? So, he also a statement like this. If there is any religion that should cope with modern scientific needs, it would be Buddhism. No? So he said like that, very good. And then he also said, no, in the future, he said, all the people in the world will, no, will worship only one religion, and that religion he called is cosmic religion. And this re religion no, should comprise all the, no, the scientific, the scientific rules, and then even the psychology rules, and the, the, the and the psyche, uh, the, um, the, um, and, and, so the, all, all, the, all the findings should be included, he said. And the only religion you know, which is unqualified with this is Buddhism, he said. So you no know, Buddhism is uh, actually, you no know, it is, it is the religion. Uh, I, 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 I also now I, I could see that. Now, as these ultimate realities, they really exist, and they make up the mind and the body, they should be studied by science. Science should study them, actually. No, what they study is very, no, not enough. <laughs> Just producing material, material, material things. And they can produce only material progress. No, so you can produce only material progress. And then, no, they, they can never, they cannot produce any mental, no, spiritual progress, spiritual development, they cannot do anything. And as they don't know now, they are producing many things and be, become like the sensual no, objects, we might say, like television, no, and then the, the cassettes, and then now uh, iPad, iPhone, iPod. No? So everybody is pushing the, the, the iPhone, iPad. And they don't know that they are, that they are just you know, they are wasting their time. So enjoying with, with, with Lopa, do that consciousness and this. So they don't know that why they, when they die, they will go to, to the war for boats. You know? So you know, science, you know, science is actually sending the people to the war for boats now. You know? So they should know that. They should know. <laughs> so only you know, the, like the, the Buddhism, you know, it, it knows about the mind in detail. And not only that, the Buddha all, all did, you know, the, also described how did they develop the man, the mind, how to develop the mind to the highest state, you know, to attain the, like the, like the, to become a noble person is very, 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 very good, very high attainment actually. Because as soon as you become the first stage noble person, we call stream winner, no, stream winner, you are guaranteed never to be reborn in the woeful state again. And then you can enjoy the sensual pleasure as much as you like, but you can also enjoy the unique bliss of Nibbana as much as you like also. No, when you are guaranteed never to be, to be reborn in a woeful state, only then you live very happily. No, now you are blind, you don't know that by just living, no, but by the, the ordinary way, enjoying sense pleasure, Walking, trying to get as much money as possible, 
and then enjoying sun pleasure without not doing much meritorious deeds. So when we die, we are born in the Bhupo boat. No, in the case of the Buddha, he could see with his no, the, the, the divine eye. No, when the people die, and he said all living beings, including the no, devas, no, the celestial beings and human beings and also animals. So when these animals die, he said. No, and actually he, he also placed a little, a little art on his thumbnail on his thumbnail and he asked the, uh, the, the, the monks, now, bhikkhus, what do you think? No? No. Now the grains in, in, the, in, my, uh, in, my, uh, in the little art on my thumb and the grains in the whole art, which is more, he asked. So the bhikkhus said, oh, the number of grains in your half thumb is very little. <laughs> <laughs> the number of grains of not sin in the whole earth is much, much more. Yes, you, you take note of that, Buddha said. When living beings die, if those beings who are born in blissful realms, so blissful realms are human realms, celestial realms, and Brahma realms, if they the amount to the number, not the number of them, amount to the number of grains on my thumb, those who are born in a full woeful state, now, both for boats, we call them. No? Both for, for, for boats, what are they? The animal world, the Peter world, you know, both for ghosts, and the demons, the big Peters, actually, and then the hells. No? So, those who are born there are much, uh, even much more than the, than the range of sand in the earth. So, no, when we see that, oh, most of us are going, <laughs> not going to the, not going to the, the, the both for boat. And that's why you know, the Buddha has to appear. You know, that he, that he not always, but, but you know, to teach the, the to teach this Dhamma, to, to teach the, the real the real things, what is happening you know, in life. So we are very very you know, fortunate, I think, you know, to know the teaching of the Buddha. Okay, so now we have Nibbana, the last one. <laughs> so there are four ultimate realities. You know, what are they? Consciousness. Mental factors, materiality, and then Nibbana. So Nibbana is you know, the, we call the Samam Bunam of Buddhism. You know, the goal, the goal of Buddhism. You know, it, is, it, it, it has the characteristic of eternal peace and unit bliss. You know, eternal peace means, you know, so it is permanent actually. You know, there is Nibbana. It is the eternal peace and unit bliss which is realized when the cause of all suffering and the walling fires of greed, anger, and delusion are totally you know, eliminated. So when you can you not know, eliminate all those greed, anger, and the you know, delusion totally, we will realize Nibbana in this, in this real life. So it is very, very you know, the significant about Buddhism, you know, like in other religion. You know, they, they will say, only after you die, and then you have to wait you know, in, the, in your tomb till the judgment day. <laughs> so on the judgment day, so only after, you know, the, 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 after the judgment of the, the Almighty God, then you, you, can, you, know, you will be born either in the eternal heaven or eternal hell, they say. So you are allowed to live only one, one, one existence. No, you are allowed to only one existence. And then, no, eternal heaven. No, so, so when they say that eternal heaven is, no, the, you can enjoy all the sense of pleasure as much as you like. So it's just like our the celestial realm. Only just like our celestial realm. And then eternal hell, then finish. <laughs> <laughs> you will never escape. <laughs> so, but you know, the, the Buddha, you know, he could see that all of us have been born uncountable existence already. No? And then you know, we shall be reborn again and again and again until we become arahats. No? Only when we become arahats, we don't have any defines anymore, and then only no more existence. 
so then we we will be in the you know in nibbana we can we can live in the nibbana forever you no know, forever okay no this is what the <coughs> It's good enough, I think, to know about this, no? And then... You can go to the... Remember the, the next topic? So, then, what... Yes, one and a half hour. We have to take a break, so... <laughs> Fifteen minutes, no fifteen minutes break. Okay. Okay.